I'm Professor Johnson. Today, we're going to learn about composition. But first, I need some help. And I'm going to go to Greece to visit my old friend Socrates, who's going to help me teach this very difficult subject. This is my time machine, which I will now visit Socrates in. Let me just get into the machine itself. And we're off! in 300 BC, the time of Socrates. Now let's go learn some composition! Very soon, I will be looking for THE Socrates. Let's go find him. <gasps> there he is! What's he work? Hello. Hello, sir. My name's Socrates, and I'm going to help you learn composition. Holy cripes! Perfect man for the perfect job! Let's go learn some math! Thank you, Socrates! You're welcome. So, Socrates, what is composition? Well, Johnson, we can think of composition as a function within a function. For example, let's take f of g of x. We have two functions here, f of x and f, no, we have g of x and then f of g of x, hmm. which are two separate functions. So, let's think. Let's pretend f is x plus 2 and g is x squared, right? Yes. Yeah. So, now we can make an, a table with the two. We have if x equals 1, this is g of x over here, and this is f of x. If x equals 1, x squared equals 1, then we plug it into the f equation, so we plug in our output for the g of x into our f of x equation, so 1 plus 2 equals 3. Now we use 2. 2 squared is going to equal 4, 4, and then we do 4 plus 2 is going to equal 6. So, pretty basic. The, in, the output of one function is the input of the next function. And what you end up with is uh, f, of g, f of g of x. Thank you, Socrates. Now, what if you had, I don't know, three functions that you had to memorize. Well, or not memorize, but you know. Yes, that's a very good question, Dr. Johnson. Well, you have to start with the innermost function always. Let's take three functions. Let's take f of x. No, let's take f, g, and h, right? All right, let's assume uh, our f is x plus 2. We already have that. Our g is going to equal x squared. And let's make our h equal 2x plus 9. All right? Now, here is our, it, here's our composition. It's g of x, and then we have the f on the outside of that, and then we're going to have the h on the outside of that. Right? So we have h of f of g of x. 
we always have to remember to start with the innermost. So G, let's plug in our X. Assume our X is um, our X is one. Well, let's make a table again. Let's start with two this time. Our X is two. So G, remember, is X squared. So we're going to square that, make that four, right? Then we need to go over here, and the next one out is going to be F. So F. This is going to be g of x over here is going to be our input. So we take this input, put it output, and put it in here. So 4. Now we take what's f is x plus 2. So 4 plus 2 is going to equal 6. And then, finally, we have the last one, h. So we're going to take this output, put it in here, 6. And now we're going to do 2x, which is going to be 12 plus 9, oh, sorry, um, 2x, which is going to be 12, plus 9, which is going to equal 21. Pretty simple, huh? Man, Socrates really knows how to break it down. This is great. Thank you, Socrates. Now I can go all the way home to America and teach all my students just how great composition is. And today we're going to learn about composition. But f hello, I'm Professor Johnson. But first, stop. I'm Professor Johnson, and today we are going to learn about composition, which is one of my, <laughs> which is one of the most useful topics to know in math. And today we're going to learn about composition. No, stop, stop. But first, we need to go to.